Hey everybody, Melissa here. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited you're all here. So today we're going to be in LibreOffice Calc and I'm going to show you how to use an array formula or an array function. Now, before you go running out of the room, no, no, I can't do that. Arrays are hard. They're for developers. I'm not a developer. I can't do this. Oh yeah, you can. I promise. Arrays sound hard, but they're really not. And they can make your job a lot easier because instead of having to do one formula or function at a time, add all these up, then multiply by this, you can do that all in one step with an array formula or an array function. Sound pretty cool? I think it is. <laughs> and I can't wait to show you how it works. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let's look at total price. So I have product, quantity, price, and subtotal, and then I have the total down here. Now I'm going to show you how to do this manually first, and it might look familiar because it could be the way that you currently do it. If we go to subtotal and we do equals our quantity times our price and hit enter, then we go to the corner and pull this down. It gives us all of our subtotals. Then we click on our total go up to our function, hit sum, hit enter, and that's $2,930. Now we are going to do the same thing over here, but if you notice, I don't have subtotal. I just have product, quantity, price, and my total. So what we want to do here is in our total field, do equal, sum, open our parentheses, highlight our quantity, times our price. Now don't hit enter. We're going to do control shift enter on our keyboard. And it gives you the $2,930. So now let's look at tax arrays. Now we have the same products, quantity and price, but we have to pay 10% tax on everything that we sell. Now we could go in here and do this manually, quantity times price times tax for each one, but there's an easier way to do it. If we highlight all of these cells and we do equals our quantity times our price times 0.1 for our sales tax. Now don't hit enter. When you're doing an array, it's always going to be control shift enter. It has calculated all of our sales tax. Now let's look at a max array. Now this comes in handy if you want to see, say with these products, what was the maximum sales increase? Like what number was that? Was it 10, 20, 30? What was the max sales increase? Now what we can do is we can do equals max, open our parentheses, and we want to do February minus January and do control shift enter and our max sales increase was 27 products. We can do the same thing with a min array. We want to find the minimum. So if we go over here and we do equals min, open our parentheses, February minus January, control shift enter, our minimum increase was nine. Now the last one I want to show you is the transpose array. Now I've been in a situation where I have gotten a spreadsheet and it may be formatted like this, but I want it formatted like this. So what we can do is we can highlight the number of columns and the number of rows that we're going to need to transpose this data. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine down or nine rows and one, two, three, four columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and four. Now we're going to do equal transpose, open our parentheses, highlight these, control shift enter, and it has transposed that data. So, what did you think? Not as hard as they seem, are they? 
and arrays are very powerful when you need to do multiple calculations for multiple cells of data at the same time. Now, one thing to keep in mind is keep your arrays clean. Don't include cells that don't need to be part of the calculation. Otherwise, there's a potential to slow down any application where these arrays are used. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this in the future, please subscribe to my channel before you go. And if you have any questions, feedback, or ideas for future content, then drop me a comment and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until then, thanks so much for watching. Bye.